Hey everybody, Casmo here, and today we're going to take a look at something new, something different from here on the channel. We're going to take a look at this game called Gunner Heat PC, and more on that title and what it means here in a few minutes. But essentially, this is a ground combat slash tank simulator, and not just tanks. Uh, you can actually jump in uh, Bradleys and uh, other types of vehicles, and even ground-mounted uh, anti-tank guided missiles like the TOW. And right now it's available as a demo on Steam. Uh, highly recommend you go take a look, check it out, but they also have a Patreon. You can go to their Patreon page, help support the program uh, for as little as uh, $3 up to $10. And of course with Patreon you can give uh, however much you want. Uh, but they've got different tiers in there of levels of support and what you'll get in return. But essentially what you'd be doing is supporting this game's development, uh, which it looks like it's pretty close to being completed from what I understand, or at least uh, a releasable state. Uh, but this is a lot of fun. Uh, some of you may know I actually was a M1 tank guy uh, back when I first joined the army back in the <laughs> uh, year and uh, it was a lot of fun and it really takes me back to a lot of those good tank simulators back in the day. Uh, M1 Tank Platoon 2 by Microprose comes to mind and of course I know that we have uh, Steel Beasts out there which uh, I have not played. Uh, I keep saying that I'm going to check it out but I definitely encourage you to check this game out. Again, it's a demo on Steam. I just want to run through it here with you guys and show a few of the features. So with this demo, you can see that we've got a lot of options here in the instant. Uh, you've got some different missions and some of them you can actually play on either side, the blue or the red. And of course, you've got this awesome music playing in the background. This one I enjoyed last night playing on stream. Uh, T-72 Sniper, you're essentially a T-72 and you're fighting these uh, four M60s. It's a lot of fun kind of sneaking around. Uh, uh, through the trees and around the hills and stuff had a, had a good time with it uh, there's a lot of options here you could play with uh, m60s uh, m1 old school m1s with the 105s and uh, we'll just jump into one and kind of drive around and take a look now I did look at this game a long time ago when it was still in very early development and it has come a long way uh, graphically it looks fantastic uh, just having a lot of fun with just kind of driving around the trees. One thing that uh, hopefully will change, I'm sure it will, is a lot of these little trees, uh, they stop the tank. And I can tell you from personal experience, none of these trees here, not one of these trees, is going to stop a, uh, a tank if it wants to go through. We've knocked over much larger trees than this on accident. Uh, but we've got some uh, gunfire off here in the distance. We'll drive up there and see what we can see. So we can get past these trees. We see we've got our buddy up here. And it looks like he's engaging some tanks. Go into the gunner seat. There's a tank right there. Man, that was a good kill. Looks like he's on fire. And uh, yeah, a lot of times the vehicles won't actually explode or they'll explode over time, which is kind of interesting because it's, you know, fairly realistic. You're not always going to have the turret pop off the top. Uh, just because you kill a tank so a lot of times you'll end up uh, shooting a tank thinking that it's not dead when in actuality it is this one it looks like it's starting to cook off uh, potentially the turret will blow off you know maybe but it, wow he's really burning <laughs> uh, but you can see you know sometimes the vehicle just kind of sits there and smolders a little bit or in some cases you don't even know that it's been destroyed and you'll sit there and waste a lot of uh, time and energy and ammo shooting it thinking that it's alive when in actuality it's already dead now here's our buddy uh, looks like he got uh, he got his turret popped there right at the end but graphically, the uh, tanks look really good, and I know it's still kind of a work in progress and things are getting uh, cleaned up, but here's this old M60 tank uh, looking pretty awesome. And uh, you do have some capabilities to sort of set the tank on autopilot, if you will, give it some directions. In this case, uh, I've given it a direction to just drive that way. It's just going to keep going, so that makes it a little bit easier once you learn how to do things like that. Or you can set the speed uh, to go fast or slow and it'll just kind of continue to drive or what you can do is kind of do it yourself uh, basically like a first person shooter you know use the WASD keys to move things around which gets a little complicated uh, when you're trying to uh, you know manage the gun and look around for targets and things like that another cool feature once you complete a mission is you can actually go through and take a look at the gunshots that were taken uh, by the uh, AI and by yourself so in this case, we're taking a look at a, uh, a shot here from an M60 into a BRDM, and you can see where the round is actually hitting uh, the vehicle. 
and you can kind of see the spall damage and how it's uh, affecting the crew and the components inside. You can turn off that uh, that three D image uh, and then just kind of cycle through and see where some of these other shots are. So here you can see that this uh, uh, T fifty five got shot right there in the uh, turret, right next to the the gunner, unfortunately. And uh, you can see all the damage that that occurred there. And here we've got a tow shot. Uh, hitting this BRDM. Let's take a look at one of our shots there right at the end. So this is that shot we made at that tank right there at the end. Looks like we hit uh, right there by the driver and you can see that the spall damage kind of went in and hit the uh, the ammunition which is what caused that huge fire that we saw. Up there on the right it's a little hard to read but in red you can actually see the damage that you've done uh, per hit and this happens in game. You can turn that off but you can kind of see you know uh, what's been going on with your round when you fire which is helpful uh, you know as long as you're not too worried about the realism of not knowing something but you can kind of tell if your rounds are hitting the target all right so in this one we're in an M1 tank and I can see my wingman tank over here uh, these are older school uh, M1s just plain M1s with the 105s uh, but the detail looks pretty good you've got these uh, you know these bags which is you know kind of stuff that we would do you've got stuff on the uh the bustle racks there on the side like our, our rucksacks and things like that and uh yeah they look uh really good and uh once again we'll just kind of move up here i'm gonna give uh commands to the ai to just drive up to that green circle up there and i can move the turret around from the commander's hatch i can't currently fire the 50 cal or at least if you can i don't know how to do it uh but I can kind of move the turret, or I can just look around without moving the turret, and that's just as, uh, as easy as, as clicking a mouse button. So I'm just kind of paying attention up here. And one thing I've noticed is a lot of these scenarios, they don't always play out the same. So sometimes on this scenario, uh, these T-72s end up flanking me uh, really close, and then sometimes they don't, so it's uh, it does make some adjustments uh, to the scenarios once you're playing, which is pretty cool. It gives it some, some replayability. So I'm going to continue up here to the top of the hill. And it looks like we're seeing something. And I'm going to go to thermal view. Let's see what we can find. And there we go. All right, so we've got our thermal views on. We can already see these enemy tanks out here. So we're going to try to make some engagements. So we can see that we hit. Uh, don't know if we actually destroyed them or, or whatever. Probably. It seems like a lot of red messages there on the guy. Oh, yeah, and there he is. He's burning. All right, this is going to be hard to engage. Oh. That seemed, that seemed really close. Yep, there's a guy right there. Just like we were talking about, those guys are flanking us from the side, and they've already hit us. So what we can do is hit tab and jump over to another vehicle. So now we're in a 113, which is probably not the best weapon in this situation. Uh, but we can fire this 50 cal and lay down some suppression. And we can uh, jump over into this tow. So now we're in a ground mounted tow. That guy's shooting at something. Oh, there's a tank right there. So we'll go to thermal view. And you can see the thermals look different. So I like that there's some variety in how the thermals look, which is, you know, realistic. And uh, we're just going to observe and wait for this guy to pop out. Oh, he's close. There's our target. So, of course, the tow is a wire guided missile. So we're going to have to maintain our lock. And there we go. The tow is launched. And that's a hit. So not only can we use Western vehicles, but we can jump in some of these Eastern block. Here we're in a uh, T-72, uh, which is a very different animal once you get inside and start using the sights. Uh, initially it was a little bit uh, kind of weird to me, but uh, quickly got used to it. It's very different, but in this case we are a uh, single T-72 out looking for four M60 tanks. So let's see if we can find them. In fact, there they are right there. So we'll jump down into the turret. And see if we can't find these guys. Actually, let me. All right, there's our target. So we're gonna laze. And try to lead them a little bit. And fire. And that's a hit. And just waiting on the auto loader. And we'll fire again. And that's a hit as well. Not sure if we killed him. No, he's still on the move. 
we're gonna start moving because his buddies are gonna start shooting back at us. And it's missions like this that uh, the game really starts to shine for me because again it just takes me back to uh, learning how to drive and uh, fight tanks and then some of the maneuvers that uh, we would do back when I was a tanker. And uh, just kind of this cat and mouse game, you know, you're using the terrain, you're, you're hiding behind trees, uh, you're looking for telltale signs of the enemy, such as, uh, you know, when they fire at you or they're kicking up dust or something like that. And uh, trying to maneuver your vehicle, almost like uh, maneuvering a ship. You know, you're trying to, to keep uh, the gun oriented on the target, but you're trying to get the terrain between you when it's advantageous to you to hide. Uh, but also expose yourself at the right time. And when you expose yourself, you know, are you facing the enemy to put more armor against them? So uh, a lot of fun that you can have doing these uh, tank battles and kind of working your way in, getting in close and then getting those kill shots. And another thing you need to consider, too, is there's only so much ammo you have on board. So if you keep pumping rounds into a guy uh, and he's already dead, you're wasting those rounds. Uh, but tanks don't always keep all of the ammo quickly available. Uh, so at a certain point, you get to a, a, a phase where you don't have any ammo available in your ready rack, and you've got to transfer ammo from storage into the rack. And that can take some time, and a lot of times that can happen at the absolute worst moment. Gunner, Sabo, tank, traverse left. Now, I promised you I'd explain what gunner heat PC actually means, and it's really just the, uh, the verbal command. Uh, that the commander is going to have in the tank. So uh, it's basically just announcing, hey, gunner, use uh, heat, uh, high explosive anti tank at this PC, which is a personnel carrier. So you might hear something like uh, gunner, sable tank, things like that. So these are commands that you're going to hear in the cockpit in game. Uh, currently, some of the vehicles do have the voices. Uh, I believe they're still working on uh, quite a few of them, uh, but you'll definitely hear it in the US tanks. Uh, but that's where the title comes from. I think it's really cool. And uh, the, the, a lot of the audio just really captures the sound of, of being inside the tank. Just the, the clanking of the tracks and the, the recoil of the gun and even just the, the spitting out of the, the, the shell casings and the aft caps and everything like that. And of course the uh, massive booms and fireballs and everything that comes out of a, a main gun when it fires. Uh, a lot of cool stuff, uh, a lot of integration of systems and how tanks actually work. So again, I really encourage you to take a look at this game and uh, give it a shot. And uh, I definitely think I'm going to be playing this more uh, on stream and definitely here on the channel. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.